Let's talk about um, props that are placed, like boxes and crates. I don't care what anybody says, you can't get rid of crates, and it's not its not about cliché, it's just because th these things exist. Crates and barrels and whatever, you know? They exist for a reason, they hold things. Now, look at this crate. A lot of uh, new game designers will come in and they'll grab a bunch of props like that, and they'll, you know, they'll plant them like this, you know, say like that, okay, right, and first of all, first of all, one, this crate doesn't belong here, look at it, it's like, it looks like it belongs in a military base, or inside a, uh, a dropship or, or something like that, right? It looks like it holds the ammunition. What the hell is it doing in a sewer, right? They're not going to store ammunition in a sewer unless this, unless they've turned this into a uh, an improvised, you know, command bunker or something like that. So that's one thing. Let's replace this with props that do belong. All right, so I found some crates which which look like they could belong here and I also got the lid for them so we'll just stick that on there and also this thing is floating in the air but this crate looks like the kind of crate that you know like maintenance workers may have put spare pipe pieces and junk like that inside it and then they would have Store it down here if there's like if there's some other pipes we'll put in other pipes later on so it belongs right but um here's the next thing this is what new game designers do they grab a prop and they they you know they fixate on the prop and they put the prop in but they don't think about how the prop relates to the world like for example look at these crates it doesn't look like these crates were put placed here by people it looks like these crates were dropped in by a level designer when people put things like you know when they put things like this in they never place them perfectly in alignment like this so this alone is is a lot of the decoration work just you know making things appear that they belong where they belong the position for example this alone just just nudging things just off just a little bit at a time and let's take this guy just this act alone of altering things so they're positioned in a way which feels real that act alone makes things believable. You know. Now, okay, so now this guy is like this, and I could even take this guy and put him in the corner, like so. Don't want him too flush with the corner because again, that wall is there. You know, so now things feel real. It feels like it belongs here. Let me add a few more props to 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 increase the believability of this. All right, so I've added a couple more props that I think fit with this world. One is a skid. Another is a dolly or a truck, and another is an open top oil drum. Okay, so I'm gonna. Skids, I think, are important. If you're going to have crates, you're going to have skids. If you've ever worked in a warehouse or something like that, or been in a warehouse, you'll know they don't just drop crates like this because, you know, it's hard to move a crate that's sitting there. you got to lift it. Everything, when you have heavy things like this, they put them on skids and make the skid a little off, too. you got to, you know, do that kind of thing. I... I don't mind using wooden skids just because I think that in the future we're going to revert to using a lot more wood just because I know something about metals and, and metals are a non-renewable resource and anyway whatever so I use wood but that's fine 
now the you, sometimes I'll even have by the way just skids by themselves like for example here and that implies that um, you know they're used it implies that they stack stuff in there on it they just don't have anything on it now that's something else you'll see in a warehouse skids just sitting there alone so lift this up and now the truck or the dolly gotta remember to put these things on the ground again altering things so they're off kilter without act alone makes things more believable because it feels that a human being has put it has come along and dropped it there because humans don't align things perfectly they make things they just drop them wherever they drop them you know it takes a lot of effort to take a 500 pound box and make it perfectly aligned so I've done this right so it feels like this is kind of like a little space where the maintenance workers or what's the purpose of this barrel I don't know maybe they put it underneath some overhead pipes we'll put some overhead pipes to to catch dripping or you know, who knows toxic material or whatever um, now I want to I want to uh, add a little bit more detail to make things even more realistic here's something I have I've got a prop library if you work with me, by the way, I'll share this with you. It's it's um, basically it's inspired by this guy Abujim Snark. That's his game name in Team Fortress 2. He did this with all the Team Fortress 2 props, so I did it with Alien Swarm as well. 